Hey third graders, last time we were working on an opinion piece and I started one about how the world could be a better place if people use more polite words with each other. And I'm sorry I won't always look like I'm looking at you at the camera because my screen is a little bit to the side where I'm recording and so I might look a little funny when I'm doing that, but um, please know that I still am thinking about you. So um, last time we wrote using more polite words with each other and I started off with a question, which I'm pretty proud of. Have you ever felt like people could use kinder words? Yeah, I think that's a pretty good beginning with a question. But um, there are other ways to begin your opinion pieces as well. And I think we should take a look at a few other options. Everyone says you only have one opportunity to make a great first impression. Well, your writing is the same way, and your introduction is that one opportunity. If your introduction doesn't capture your reader's attention, then they may not be motivated to continue reading. Think about it. If you sit down to watch a movie and you don't like it about 10 minutes into it, chances are you're probably going to want to watch something else. Luckily, there are some tactics you can use to captivate your reader from the start of your writing. Oftentimes, these are called hooks or attention-getting openings, and there are several different ways that you can achieve this. One way is to ask a series of intriguing questions. Hey, so she said a bunch of questions would be something that we could ask. Questions are totally something that we have already tried out. In fact, we have a question at the beginning of the text right now. Like right here in my text when I said, have you ever felt like people could use kinder words? Another great hook is a surprising fact. So a surprising fact would be a really good idea. Surprising. Hmm, I wonder what I could do if I was writing in my writing. All right, so far I have, have you ever felt like people could use kinder words? I have. So I'm going to delete that. Go ahead and grab that and get rid of it. And try to think of a surprising fact that I could include instead. For example, I could say, I know that people respond better to others when they hear them use kind words. It's not too surprising of a fact, but it is a fact, and it could really help people to get interested in reading about my opinion. Some catchy dialogue. Hmm. Dialogue. That means people talking to each other. I wonder how I could include that in the beginning of my opinion piece. Okay, so instead of saying, I know that people respond better to others when they hear them use kind words, which was an interesting fact, I could replace this with some dialogue, which means I'm going to need to use some quotation marks. Then I could put in some very not polite language like, give me that pencil. I want more erasers. Hey, how come you aren't helping me? Right? So I could start out, I could lead with some really not very polite language. Give me that pencil. I want more erasers. Hey, how come you weren't helping me? I think that if people use kind words with one another, they would be much happier. So I could contrast this not very nice language with my um, opinion that people should use nice language. So whether you use a question to hook your reader or a surprising fact or some dialogue, use a hook so that way you can lock in your reader so that they're going to finish the rest of your paper.